me this way. No. Go ahead. No. Relax. I'm here to talk to you and make you feel better about life. Someone was shooting at me. I I'm must not be right back. Please get me out of jail tonight. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. And my fingers are ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just give me out, just give me out. I work in Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office in Central Booking um, at the Orient Road Jail. The most dangerous part of our job is intake when they come in um, because they're high or they're drunk and we never know what to expect when the next person walks in the door. I'm not the person to ask. I'm working over here. Is he all done? Yeah. He doesn't want to leave. All right, come on. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, he's trying to cut and stuff. No, have a seat over there. Okay, yes, ma'am. No, you're all done up here. Other side, man. The other wait, side. Wait, he was the one looking for his car keys, wasn't he? Yeah. Sir, don't come up here no more. We can't let you outside to go see your car keys. You can't come up here. We don't have your car keys. They don't have your car keys. You, Go on, on the other yeah, side. You You're done over here. Property. They'll call you so, up when they're ready for you. Yeah, we'll you just handle need to go this part. Over on the other you side. just go over there. Let us yep. call you. Seem to not want to leave us alone. Once they're done over here, they're not supposed to come back over here. Come on up. Brought in uh, exposure sexual organs. Just doing the tuck. Doing the tuck? Pulled his pants down and re-tucked himself. And... Yeah, so it can appear to be a female. Wow. What are you doing to bars on the street? I was fixing my clothes. Fix they said you were fixing more in your clothes. My tuck. Your tuck? Yeah. So how long you been out there? Not long. Not an hour. No, I meant total. Your whole... Um, how long you been, been, been doing this, period? Since you were what? 15. How old are you now? 27. 27. So you've been doing this since you were 15. You're never yeah. going to stop? Yeah, I'm going to stop someday. <laughs> just someday? Why just someday? So I get tired, I guess. You're not tired of coming in here yet? I'm going to take him over to the property room, put some more clothes on him so he doesn't get harassed or side business while he's here. <laughs> Ladies. Can I get some clothes? Size. A uniform? What's that? A medium. Medium? Large. <laughs> you still trying to wear it too tight in here? No, I'm not. I need some slippers. When they're half naked or half undressed, people, it draws a lot of attention, causes a little bit of chaos. You need to stop over there. No, you don't need to be back there. You need to be sitting down. You need to be sitting. Go sit down. Don't walk up behind them. For some reason, men dressed like women draw a lot more attention, not only to them to say hateful things to them, but also those who are a little curious. You got more you need to up here. Let's go. He's been annoying me, medical, fingerprints. He's been annoying everybody. Oh, yeah, OK, I know who he is. Yeah. Yeah. He just keeps walking up behind people and doing weird things. The nurses told me to put him in the holding cell because he wouldn't quit harassing them. So I had Lafayette put him in the holding cell. He is obviously unstable. Come on. Come on. Hit it again. You're not going to like it when we come in there. You keep this up. Don't hit the glass. All you're going to do is hurt your hands. Don't hit the glass. Don't do that, bro. Deadly. I mean, this has been going on for a while. Sit down. What's his deal? He's been threatening us. He's here annoying everybody since he got here. If you beat on the glass, they're going to come in, they're going to handcuff the leg on you, they're going to put you in that chair. I'm very uncomfortable, you're not going to like it. I am a grown man. Okay. Whether I'm half his size or not, I'm grown. That man talks Look. to me like I'm a piece of because I'm a convict since right. he's brought me in here has been nothing but hey, my face. All right, sit down. Would you, I 
I'll tell you what. If I ever see him on the street, don't make any threats because we'll charge you with that. All right, well, all right. We'll sit down until he's on the street again. Right, don't make any threats, brother. I didn't make threats. All right, I asked you to sit down. Sense. Stay sitting down because okay. I don't want to have to get into a fight. All right, you want to relax? Okay, I'll relax. All right, brother. I didn't put him in there. Metal could put him in there. All right, keep an eye on him, and if he keeps on, we'll go ahead and put him in the chair. We'll do a report. Look, look. He's making something out of his socks. See, he's got his socks Tops. now. He's tying them up. Grab the cuffs. Right here. We're going to get a couple more people, man. Hang on. Turn around. Put your hands on the wall. Put your hands on the wall. Put your hands up on the wall. Put your hands on the wall. Turn around and put, put your hands, hands on the wall. Yes. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Now. Now. Take your hands down. Put your hands behind your back. Now. Do it now. You're breaking my jaw. You're breaking my jaw. You'll be fine. Yeah, don't pull now. Go ahead. Big and smooth. Relax. Oh, I sprung on the knee. Sit down. Sit down. Put your hands behind your back. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I need to count. I love you. Choke me, make me bleed. That's what I want. It takes six you suckers to do one job. Give me a spit mask. Spit mask. He's Dude, been warm. Oh, you guys warm me. You're the first one going down. You ain't gonna get me for. There's been a lot of renovation going on in booking, so this home cell became a supply closet for now. <laughs> well, he was striking the windows and picking at the glass, and deputies told him several times to stop banging on the glass and sit down and relax. <laughs> he was not to cooperate, so we had to go in and restrain him and put him in the chair so he wouldn't hurt himself or anyone else. They just don't want to cooperate when they're high. <laughs>
you know, talking crap to me. I jumped down off my bunk the first time. Hold on. Go ahead. Then I got undressed because he's talking about wanting to fight me, right? So I jumped down off my bunk. And when I did, he, he swung and he hit me. That's when he hit me right here with whatever it was he had in his head. I don't know what it was. It was a pencil or what, but as soon as he did, I knew that it like, it, it ripped it open, you know what I'm saying? Because I could see it off the corner of my eye and it was bleeding. Then we wrestled around for a good, you know, three or four minutes. A lot of it we wrestled around over there by the toilet. I'm just figuring it was a pencil because I think he's injured. All right. You gonna make it? Yeah, I'm all right. All right, hang in there. All right, man. If y'all can find the weapon that he used, that's what I'm looking for. The evidence points toward the weapon being used. There was a puncture wound in his nose. I think if he got stabbed here that caused the blood to splatter, then he had, the weapons probably dropped. Pick up the blue crate on the desk. See that broken pencil? Fresh crate. Yeah, that's it. I'm thinking maybe the other piece he flushed. Yeah, he could have done it like that. He could have stuck it in between his knuckles and hit him like that. That's probably what it was. In between his knuckles. Hit him in the nose. All right. Give me your side of the story. Sir. What weapon did you use? Sir. What weapon did you use? Use my hand. So what happened to his nose? With what? On my fist. You know what I'm saying? I see a blood on my fingernail. You know what I'm saying? I might have cut him. But you know, that's that's blood on my fingernail, but I didn't use no weapon. I don't have no reason to use no weapon. It was a fight. And a weapon was used. The, the hard part about it is we can't prove that he used the weapon. Because we have we don't have the evidence. Make it as a fight. For now, take this off. Take off. Right. Once we find the evidence, then we can make him a soldier. Because we can't charge him because we don't have the evidence. All right? It okay. was definitely a fight on both of them. So they both going to a single cell for that. Fighting over a card game or something like that. So I've been with Clark County Detention Center for about three years. One day I'm an elementary school teacher, next minute I find out they're testing for the police academy. Jumped right on that and I uh, got right in, so one extreme to another. You're protecting I yourself. I didn't even shoot at anyone. Here, I shot into the up? air. Can you stand up, please? I sir? shot into the air. We're going to do a blood pressure test, okay? Take a deep breath. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not done yet. Take me. Well, push me wherever you want to no, push me. Relax. Down. You want to push, push me this way? No. Go ahead. You and make you feel better about life. Someone was shooting at me. I I'm must not be right back. Show. I don't give a. F I got a Glock 19. I'm shooting back. Oh, I did too. Yeah, me too. Mine's registered too. Me and mine's registered too. Okay, but you're spitting on me when you talk. Please don't spit on me. Mine is registered. Thank you. Listen, and I'm gonna I can, shoot right back. I know. I, I can if someone you, shot at you, you, Mrs. Uh, Citray. Citray. If someone shot um, at you, would you shoot I'm back? I'm protecting myself, ma'am. Thank you. But but don't yell because I'm on your side. There's a bullet in my Jaguar. Go check my Jag. Where's my Jag? Okay, we're taking it to a window. We're going to take it to the window and you get your finger printed, okay? Supposedly it was a result of road rage. There were people that were sitting there and see this girl get out, start shooting rounds, get one, back one in the way. car. Did the whole actually hit her car? That's what she's saying. You know what? I think one of the cars had a round in them. So that, her, that might be legit as far as somebody shooting at her. <laughs> I'm on Las Vegas Boulevard and someone shot at my car. What were you doing tonight? <laughs> Nothing! Were you at the clubs? No. Oh, Hell yeah, I, I shot one in the air. Come I on. Shoot back. Uh, Ow! Ow! Hurting me. I apologize, ma'am. Why is he videotaping me off the Both knees on the bench. <laughs> Stay right there. What if she would have killed us? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what are you going to do then if she would have killed us? She'll have her time in court to explain it and see. Please, get it all figured out. Here. It's a mess, though. Please! Oh, oh, why are you here? Drug related? Pot. Just pot? Okay, so the cops come to your house. Who's all at your house? My husband. And? Um, a couple of friends. Don't tell me any kids were there. Yes. Okay, how many kids? Two. What, is, what are the ages? Okay. Five and eight. 
Where are your kids at right now? My mother. You think that there's going to be problems with the courts giving you back your children? Oh, yeah. You been to jail before? Never. Never? Never been to jail? Never. Tonight's a good night for first timers. How do you like our facility, ma'am? I don't like it, ma'am. Really? Go see the nurse. Here. They crashed into my house. Who's they? The SWAT team. Why did they crash into? You mean they raided it? Yeah. Okay, why? Um, because they're under the assumption that I am selling marijuana. Did you have marijuana in the house when I you were there? I did. Okay. So their assumptions were right. Mm, well, some of their assumptions, yes. Okay. How much weed? How much weed was found in the house? I don't know exactly how much. You don't found. know how much you had in there. I know. I'm oh, you don't know how much they found. How much they found. Have you been in trouble before? I've been arrested before. Your wife tells you you're a very, very good father, and that you're very, you know, you're very, you're, you're a good guy. But I'm a little worried about the kids right now. Um, I wasn't doing anything that would have endangered my children. The most dangerous thing that I saw that happened to my kid is when the SWAT team came into my house with all those guns. But you know why SWAT came, because of your lifestyle, right? I'm getting from you that you're very bitter about the situation that happened. However, unlike your wife, you're not taking responsibility. You see what I'm well, saying? How am I not taking responsibility? I said there was marijuana in there. Okay, but you're saying that the only thing that's traumatic for your children is because of SWAT. Why did the SWAT team come into your house? I figured because you put your children they were barking up the wrong tree. But you said you had marijuana in your house. I did. I don't know what your aspect is on marijuana. I mean, I know there's worse drugs out there, but how do you feel about them? I'm an advocate of smoking weed. I know, so you wouldn't have a problem with your children wanting to smoke weed. If they were old enough to make that decision on their own, yes, I would not have a problem with that. Okay. My kids ain't stupid. Kimberly. Go ahead and have a seat. So how's it feel to be arrested with your husband? Who's going to bail you out? Your husband's in jail. How's that work out? How do you feel about this being her first time coming in here, though? I feel bad for her. Feel bad for her? You all feel like you're a little responsible for her being I in here? I believe that I am responsible for this, and I've already apologized to her. Was she ever involved in this before she met you? Rhonda. You said you've never been to this facility before, right? No, I haven't. Okay, while you're in here, you're gonna sit in the first three rows on the left-hand side. Do not talk to your wife, do not look at her, do not motion to her, okay? Okay. Listen for your name to be called, all right? First three rows. She sounds like she's calmed down. Nadia, tell us your side of the story. What happened? They were some black girls, and I think I maybe may have cut them off. I heard gunshots. I have come from a very wealthy family, you know? I don't, I don't do this. <laughs> I've never shot anyone in my life. I'm terrified but of But like guns. you said, you know where you went wrong, right? I, I understand where you're coming from. I understand why I you did it, but it wasn't to good. my life. Of guards. My dad? My dad is a Muslim, okay? He's from Lebanon. My dad is crazy. And he owns a lot of guns. I am terrified of guns. I know. Please let me out of here. Yeah. I don't belong As soon as I can, okay? All right. I'm gonna check back in with you in a little bit, okay? Just go over there and just try to relax. I'm sorry. Okay, so I don't know what the real story is, but, you know, I can only hope the best for her, and she's lucky that nobody got hurt. No, I don't want to see me here. I'm disappointed in myself, but I'm more worried about Steve. Kimberly, come on. All right, this is your cell. Step in here. What have you thought about this whole experience so far in here, as far as the processing and all that? It's really crappy. It's crappy. Yeah. Have a seat. Remember, you're gonna hear that cell door shut. You remember what that sound sounds like, okay? Because you don't need to be back here. Steven, come on. All right, Hartnett, I know you've been to jail before, you've been to prison before, this is probably nothing for you, but family is the most important thing and those kids are the most important things to you and I can tell that. So as far as the marijuana, I mean, you said you were an advocate for it, so that's not gonna change. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. 
He'll be out before the end of my shift, before I even get off work. It's, it's sad that's the way it goes, but it's very easy, and that's why they keep coming back. It's just a slap on the wrist, and they're good to go. It sucks, but kids are the victims out of all this. And the doors open up, and they leave me outside, and they hand me my clothes, and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face, and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel, and my fingers grew tight. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get up The doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be alone. I gotta